Hey Yarbo enthusiasts, it's Ethan. Welcome to the Yarbo Lab. Some of you may have already heard that Yarbo 2024 will feature a new connection method. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to the data center. The data center utilizes Halo, a low-power, long-range Wi-Fi technology, specially designed for IoT devices. It operates in 850 to 950 MHz frequency, which allows it to better penetrate through walls and other obstacles. This is suitable in environments like your yards, which are often large and filled with obstacles. Wi-Fi Halo provides more reliable connections and extensive coverage. With Wi-Fi Halo, the 2024 Yarbo can achieve Wi-Fi signal data transmission over distances up to 1,000 meters in open spaces and up to 200 meters in obstructed conditions, maintaining a transmission rate of about 10 megabytes per second. Think 200 meters is short? A radius of 200 meters covers an area of 31 acres, which is large enough to cover most residential yards. 2024 Yabo Core now have online mode and offline mode. We have prepared a detailed video to help you better understand. Firstly, the data center and the Yarbo core maintain a constant connection via Halo, ensuring that RTK correction data is continuously transmitted to your Yarbo core, regardless of your internet connectivity. Next, it's essential to ensure that your phone can monitor Yarbo's status and send commands effectively. To achieve this, connect the data center to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. This setup integrates all your devices into the same local area network, allowing the Yarbo core and your phone to exchange information seamlessly, even when your internet connection is down. Or if you prefer a Bluetooth connection, you can connect to the rover through Bluetooth. It will not require your phone to be in the local network anymore. To monitor your Yarbo remotely when you're not home, you'll need an active internet connection. Ensure your home router maintains a stable internet connection. All data will be uploaded to an online server, then forwarded to the data center and your smartphone. Now, consider a less common scenario. Your Yarbo core has moved beyond the range of its Halo connection with the data center. In this case, the Yarbo core will switch to a 4G backup connection. Your commands are sent to the online server, which then communicates with the Yarbo core via the 4G network. RTK correction data follows the same route. After the data center receives GPS signals, it sends the RTK correction data to the Yarbo core through the 4G connection. What would you like to know about Yarbo? Leave your questions in the comments below.